What's up, everybody? James from the Copper Poppers here and Drippy Lip Auctions. I can't believe I completely forgot to get my computer set up. But welcome to our Friday the 13th auction. I'm going to flip you around. Check out our awesome progressive prize tonight. See, we have nine people here so far. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Nope, I got it. Thank you, though. How's everybody doing? I, unfortunately, have COVID and have been sick for the last week, along with Rebecca as well. But... Luckily, I'm up on the mend and starting to feel a little bit better. Um, it's been uh, it's been an interesting week. Yeah, lots of sleeping, <laughs> not a lot of ding, but definitely have some awesome stuff tonight for our progressive prize. This is a jar that I dug. This is a Samco 1930s Super Mason with a number 13 mold. And the reason that is significant or collectible is that moonshiners typically smashed the uh, number 13 mold jars because they were not good luck. What's up, everybody? We got Steve tonight, Swamp Fox. Let's get some Mo uh, Mike Briggs. Russell, hello, how are you doing? Ty guy. What's up, buddy? Oh, uh, it's okay. Just don't mind my super annoying nasally voice. <laughs> Madison Maine, how's it going? Oh jeez, Mike, that's crazy. Yeah, you probably burned it up trying to get through those big demijohns I sent you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got about 20 people in here tonight. Thank you very much. If this is your first time here, um, my name is James. I, uh, along with Tyler Yosko here, <laughs> who's uh, blaming me, saying I'm playing hooky. We are uh, the Copper Poppers, and this is Drippy Lip Auctions. Uh, we have antique glass and marbles and relics and silver for sale tonight. Um, we do have dollar increments that we go in. If it is above $5, or I'm sorry, $5, $50, then we do $2 increments. And if it is above $100, it is $5 increments. The buyer does pay the shipping, but I combine shipping. So whatever you buy, it is by weight. So we have some smaller items like coins and, and marbles and such that um, really will cost you no extra shipping if you've already bought another item. So definitely keep that in mind tonight. Um, I do also take highest bidder, so whoever is the last bid, even if you've upbid yourself, you pay the highest bid. Uh, no politics, please. I do have students that, um, that go to the school that I work at that sometimes frequent our auctions, and I like to keep it PG-13, family friendly and all focused on good things such as bottles and the history behind them like i said no no uh no art rated r language or politics please um without further ado let's do a um lag check and if you're not familiar with the lag check you type in lag into the chat and whenever i see it i will call out your name and however long it take however long it takes me to call out your username is how long it will take to uh for me to see your bid so whenever it comes down to the last couple seconds you want to make sure you give yourself enough lag time so that you can get those snipes on those sweet bottles 
All right, Lag Tyler. What's going on, Tattoo Steve? Lag Madison. Thank you very much. Welcome tonight. Lag Steve. Lag Poof. Lag Don. What's up, Don? Get those lags in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up. Lag Mike Briggs. And uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing the video, I'd appreciate it. Helps me out. Mary Kernan Lag. Good to see you, Mary. Yeah, Steve, I hope hope you're doing good. Lag Swamp. Lag Gail. Gail, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. FLX Detectorist. What's up, buddy? I think I follow you on Snapchat. So good to see you. Can't see the clock. Thank you very much, Poof. Or was that Poof? Who was it? Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. Lag Russell. In. How you doing tonight, buddy? It's good to see ya. FLX. Wait, John. I know John. I think I'm being dumb. <laughs> All right. So later on in the night, maybe around um, 9.30. Becca, would you mind setting a timer for 9.30, please? Yeah, thank you. Right around 9.30, we're going to be... Re um, bidding off this number 13 mason jar samco super mason friday the 13th mason jar um we're gonna do the progressive prize and if you don't know what that is uh check it out at 9 30 we'll get back to you and i'll explain it then all right without further ado let's get this party started all right we're going to fire it off with this bad boy right here. All right, I'm going to start the clock. This is how I kind of run my bids. I um, I show the bottle and expl I start the clock and start to explain it and stuff. And uh, go ahead and start typing in your bids. Here we have an 1880s, 1890s Osgoods India. Col I can never say it. Kalagugu out of Norwich, Connecticut, USA. Beautiful tooled top hand blown bottle. This has no damage, just a little bit of haze in there, um, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, let's do a $15 start. $15 start for the Indian. Oh, I can't say it. I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to say the Id Oz Goods. <laughs> The Oz Goods, O S G O O D S. Oz Goods, fifteen dollars start on the Oz Goods. Colagog, Colagog. Thank you, Russell. It's so difficult. The pronunciation for that it just is like, who came up with that word? Colagog. India Kalagog. Very, very interesting. $15 start. Like I said, right around 1880s, 1890s on this one. Nicely embossed. And beautiful uh, aqua color. Nice smooth base on there, too. It's pretty cool. Norwich, Connecticut. Like I said, a beautiful tool top. India Kulagog. Kulagog. All right, we're on lag time. I'm sitting about eight seconds of lag. $15 is going to take this one in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Madison, Maine, you got that for 15 Good steal. Nice pickup. 
Very beautiful piece there. Set you in there. Move right in line. Nice pickup. All right, next up, we have a Father John's Medicine. Nice early machine-made amber bottle here. Father John's Medicine. We're going to do a $10 start on this one. Beautiful amber. It's pretty dark for its color. Um, no damage on there and uh, no staining on the inside either. This is a Doug bottle, but still really nice condition strong embossing right around 1915 father john's medicine ten dollar start on this one beautiful amber medicine bottle father john's medicine One of the many medicines from Lowell. Yeah, man. Massachusetts. I would love to go detecting in Mass. So old. So much history from there. <laughs> Poof, where are you from? I, I can't remember. I know I shipped to you, but I can't remember off the top of my head. 10 seconds left on the clock. We need a $10 start on the Father John's Medicine. Oh, out of low. <laughs> All right, we're on lag time. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. No one on the Father John's? That's okay. JJ, how's it going, buddy? You're in, Lil. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> uh, we are feeling... Uh, I don't know. What, what percent would you say we feel right now? <laughs> I feel about 60%. She, yeah, she feels a little bit better than I do, and... I got sick before she did. <laughs> yeah, I'm not feeling too great, to be honest. Just really stuffed up and a headache. But next up, we have an Arnica and Oil 1870s, 1880s tool top medicine bottle here. This is a beautiful piece right here. Um, absolutely no damage. Has a little, little slight staining. Um, that honestly would probably come out if you shook the inside. Based out of Burlington, Vermont. Very cool. Thank you, Kenan. Let's do a $12 start. Beautiful little med here. I love the umbrella look to it. Very cool. Oh, yeah. All of them out of Lowell, Mass. Yeah, it's just, it's taking a little bit longer than normal, but definitely feeling better than when I first started. But uh, I think I'm going to try and dig a little bit tomorrow and get out with Tyler. Hopefully we can get on something. $12 start, 25 seconds left on the clock. Arnica and oil liniment. Beautiful tool top. This is a clear version. It comes in aqua as well. Hey, what's up, Squeaks? How you doing, buddy? All right. We are on lag time. $12 in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Gail, you got that for 12 bucks, dude. That's a nice little bottle. Good pickup, man. That's a really beautiful piece. Yeah, hopefully some fresh air will do me good. 
All right, this is another. This is another piece, really interesting. I actually dug this piece. Um, it'll be, or I think it is was in, in the last video. It's the E. J. Kelly perfumer at a Elmira, New York, with the original screw top lid as well. Um, this thing's really cool, and I know for sure it'll turn purple. Um, it's early machine made, but it's really probably about 1900 um, on the dot to 1905 maybe, just from the layer that I got it out of. Let's do a let's do a 15 dollars start on this one. E.J. Kelly perfumer at a Elmira, New York. Really cool piece here. I, I looked online and didn't see um, any other pieces with a shaker on top. You can see the holes in the lid. Yeah, it was really, really small town. Yeah, Elmira. I've, I have another bottle from Elmira as well. Glasses in for 15. Thank you, Michelle. Bad tornadoes. Oh, man. Be careful, buddy. E.J. Kelly Perfumer out of Elmira. You can see it's already starting to turn a little bit purple as is. Like I said, this is probably some sort of powder. Um, I'm sure it smelled really good. <laughs> E.J. Kelly Perfumer. No damage. The, the lid is a little bit um, tattered just from being in the ground, but... The fact that it's even there it's pretty great yeah shout out to all the people uh, getting some bad weather right now <laughs> be safe out there all right sixteen dollars or more in five four three two one zero michelle you got that for 15 that's a great pickup uh, glassy. Yeah. JJ, your 16 just came through, buddy. Thirty-five hundred Confederates buried in Elmira. Did not know that. Wow, that's pretty far north. Pretty far north. For some Confederate troops. <laughs> makes Mike's making some meatloaf. <laughs> awesome. Check this one out. Let's do a $20 start. We have a nice honey amber tool top cone ink. One dot on the base. $20 start I think is really good. This thing is crystal clean. It's got some really cool bubbles on the shoulder there too. Magic Mike meatloaf <laughs> I do not like meatloaf beatloaf double beatloaf I hate meatloaf <laughs> $20 start on this one nice honey amber this thing is beautiful 77 days until come out swinging spring I can't wait to get out east again. It's killing me, man. That's why I really haven't posted any videos. I've just been sick and haven't really been able to get out and probably only have one video's worth of footage. So I'm going to probably post the video this upcoming week and then uh, hopefully we'll get some footage tomorrow. <laughs> $20 start on the beautiful... Honey Amber Koenig, the dot on the base. I'd like your meatloaf venison. No, dude, mashed potatoes are foul. <laughs> yes, I can. $20 on the Amber Koenig in five, four, three, two, one. Zero. <laughs> Nobody interested in the Amber Koenig? That's okay. Um, 
I'd like to mention as well, um, if you do later on change your mind about an object that hasn't sold, um, let me know. I can, um, yeah, I can keep track. Madison, would I do 16? If you do, if you do 18, I'll do 18. I'll do 18 on the amber. It's it's perfect. There's literally no damage on it. That's the only reason. Um, here, I'll show the... All right, Madison's on 18. Cool, you got it, Madison. Thank you. I know, she's down here. As long as she doesn't come up on. <laughs> no, the cat is not visiting. All right. This one's pretty sweet. I'm pretty sure this is like a... Uh, I don't even know. It almost reminds me of like a paste or a shoe polish. It's um, D. Cameron, trademark New York. And it's got a guy holding a sword. I'm going to do a $25 start. It is pretty stained up. Um, but with like a homemade tumbler, you could definitely tumble the inside of it i just haven't gotten around to it i think it's an awesome bottle pretty sure it is a a um a shoe polish like i mentioned uh yeah i love eating hamburgers i like cheeseburgers even better though $25 start on the D Cameron trademark out of New York. Like I said, look at that sweet pictorial dude who holding a sword. Almost looks like a dagger, actually. Or it could be a lady. I shouldn't I shouldn't say it's a dude. Could be a lady's arm as well. Oh, out of focus. Come on, James. I'd say it's right at that 1870s, 1880s, maybe early 90s. It is a dagger you see before you. $25 start on this one. 10 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, if no one buys this one, that's okay, because I will probably tumble it up and run it again later. <laughs> All right. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. No one on the stabby stab. <laughs> she polished. That's okay. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Hmm. What do I want to do next? Let's do this one. It's kind of an oddball jar. We're going to do a $25 start. This is a jar ball improved that I dug. Look at the embossing on the eye. I've never seen this type of ball mason, actually, and I dug it with the lid, which is pretty cool, too. It would have had a metal band that went around here. Um... But, yeah, it's it's right at that 1920, um, 1918-ish year. Um, it's a square, square mason, which is just very interesting. Big number four on the, on the base of it, but no damage. I, I just love that embossing. I love it. Oh, yeah, I cleaned up great. There was... No staining in it. No damage. No, it'll lay flat on its back. White noise in the background? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it could be the heater. We do have the heater on. Like I said, it does have the original lid on it as well. You hear it too. Would you mind turning it off, buddy? Please, thank you. 
I'm not sure if I said 25 or 20. Let's just go 20. I'll, I'll do 20 on this one. A reworked Dre mold. Very interesting. All right. $20 on this one in five, four, three, two, one, zero. No one on the square ball improved. That's okay. That's still a really cool mason jar. I do like that. Oh, Michelle, you'd like it for 20? It's all yours, girly. I think that is a pretty interesting and unique jar. I think the lag is pretty bad, actually. It seems to be getting a little bit longer. All right. Check out this bottle. This is an early machine made, probably right around 1910, 1915. Lucky Tiger Remedy out of Kansas City, Missouri. Lucky Tiger for scalp, eczema, and dandruff. And it's got the original lid on it. You can see it's just a little hair oil that you would have put on your head. Let's do a $15 start on the Lucky Tiger. I like that anything... I like anything, um... Lucky Tiger... That says Tiger on it. I don't know why. I think... Probably just... Because it's my favorite animal. <laughs> um, it's pretty similar to the... Um... Made Drug Company mold. Which is actually a video I just posted recently on, um... TikTok actually um yeah lucky tiger remedy company steve's in at 10 i'll take 10 let's do 11 or more no i actually didn't dig that one there ken and i dug that at the other dump um it was pretty deep probably about eight or nine feet deep um but it was like i said just an interesting jar I, i'd never seen one like that before um, I'm sure it's not incredibly rare or anything like that, but definitely not your average ball perfect. 11 or more on the Lucky Tiger Remedy Company with the original screw top lid. All right, we're on lag time. I'll let it go for another second. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. One, zero. We got Steve Copen for 10 on the Lucky Tiger. Nice pickup, Steve. Thank you very much, buddy. Tyler dug a wicked awesome half-gallon mason with you there. The last time I was there, we went after detecting all day and getting skunked. And me complaining on because we didn't go to the dump all day. <laughs> I made Tyler drag, I dragged Tyler there for about 25 minutes in the rain. And I also dug a really nice half gallon mason. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, next up, we have a pretty cool combo here. Now, this one bottle has a little nostalgia for me. This is one of the first bottles I ever dug out of the, the pig pen, if you guys remember that early it was our first bottle digging video. This is a Pluto water, early machine made, 1920s. And then I dug this out of the uh, the older dump. This one's a little bit older. It's still machine made, but it's a blob top. Um, does have some staining on the inside, but still really cool. Um, these were crystal waters that would have... Um, There we go. Uh, that would have been for drinking because water was kind of gross back then. Um, these were out of like natural springs and stuff like that. We'll do a 
We'll do a $15 start for the pair. Yeah, this... I always like this one. I had this one in my windowsill for a while. Because you can see, it's definitely got some, uh, some whittling to it. But it's not, like, super whittled or anything. It's just a cool little bottle. And then we have the big blob here. Pretty sweet. I was pretty pumped when that came out of the ground. I was hoping for a soda or something, but still pretty neat. $15 start for the pair. My wires are hanging. Who sets up this pr production? He's getting fired. <laughs> 25 seconds left on the clock. We need a $15 start for the Pluto water pair. What's the embossing on the blob? It's the same as the embossing on the crown top. It is Pluto. Nice little pictorial Pluto. Little devil looking guy. He looks pretty crazy. <laughs> all right we are on lag time 15 dollars is gonna take the pair in five four three two one zero jj i will do 12 buddy they are all yours nice pickup jj the pluto brothers nice pickup man Is there a little cat treat in this bag? In this box? Oh my gosh. I have no idea. No idea. Yeah, it's all. Uh, I apologize. Alright, guys and girls. Let's get into something a little bit older. Let's do this beautiful open pondled whittled to bits little puff we're gonna do a 15 dollar start this is a absolutely mint condition key with an open panel so this is a really cool transition type um year where they were trying to figure out how to make a mold without the sharp panel on the base and um it was only like a specific type of um there are specific few years that they made bottles with a key mold with the open panel. Um, this one has a beautiful rounded lip on it as well. And it's just crystal clear. It has been tumbled, but just beautiful, beautiful early piece of glass. Probably 1850 to 1855, I'd say. Yeah, very cool bottle. $15 start on this one, guys. That's a fantastic, fantastic buy right there. Super whittled. And then once you have this thing in your hands, I mean, how many times, guys, have you gotten a bottle from me and, and gotten it for a good deal, and then you get it in person, and you're like, oh, my gosh, this thing is sweet. <laughs> JJ's in at 15. Thank you, JJ. 139.95 oh heck yeah man i plan on going this year too all right we need 16 or more in five four three two one zero jj you got that for 15 bucks dude that is a sick pickup man what I do, yeah, I'll do eight for the Father Brown for you, Steve. Yeah. What did I say, Father Brown? Whoops. Yeah, JJ, that's a great pickup, buddy. All right. Let's do another early piece of glass. Mint condition. We're going to do... 
an $18 start on this one. This is a perfect umbrella mucilage. Flat base, 1880s, no damage. Perfect, perfect mucilage piece here. And just crystal clear. I mean, attic mint. $18 start on the beautiful early mucilage. You thought it was going to cost you. That was for Brian. Yeah, be a little be a little careful there, Don. I knew not to take it. <laughs> Michelle's in at 18. Thank you, Michelle. Let, we need 19 or more. This is a great piece, guys. I'm telling you. Just crystal clear, flat base, no damage to the lip. Uh it's a beautiful piece. Just a couple little bubbles to have a little bit of character. But just a really, I mean, a perfect example. Mint condition. $19 or more. Yes, very nice piece. Thank you, Swamp. Just as good as it gets right there, guys. Oh, beautiful. Five seconds left on the clock. I have JJ at 20. I need 21 or more. All right. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. I got JJ at 20 on that one. Nice pickup, JJ. That is a beautiful piece. Great piece of glass there. Okay. This is going to be, like I said, a nice short and sweet auction tonight. I'm still not 100%, so just want to keep it nice and quick. This was not in our um, auction preview, the couple pictures that I posted, but... I pulled it off of my shelf. I think it's time to let it go. This is a beautiful piece. Swayze's Improved Mason. It's a smooth top, but absolutely no damage. And if you look at this thing, you can see, look at all these brown streaks in it. There's a few over here. And then you get over to this side. There's some there and some up there and some up there. And a big long streak up into the neck. And a little bit up in here too. And then there's some on the base as well. Just a little dip of amber in this thing. But it's definitely never been buried. Perfect, perfect condition. Not one that you typically do see. It's got a really nice ball mason jar lid on it as well. I'm going to do a $35 start. It's got some nice whittling on it as well. I think that's a fantastic deal for this beautiful, beautiful jar. Guys, don't miss out on this one. I'm telling you, this is a great jar. Swayze's Improved Mason. Does sit a little bit wonky. I like the lean. I always thought that was cool. But you can see the amber streaks going around it. Let's get a nice little light show. Take this down a notch. Oh yeah. $35 start on the Swayze's Improved Mason with the amber streaks. Look, you can even see the amber coming through up on the light. Swayze's Improved Mason, $35 start. Yeah, I love the wonky too. Send that one to Glassy on you. Aw, oh, you're too nice, JJ. <laughs> $35 start for the Swayze's. Improved Mason. With nice amber streaks in there, too. All right.
right, we're on lag time. We need 35 or more on this beautiful Swayze's Improved Mason. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. No one on. No one on the Swayze's? That's okay. I get to keep this lean and bad boy. <laughs> All right. Moving right along. Next up, we've got a beautiful J.R. Nichols and Company chemist out of Boston, Massachusetts. This is a beautiful applied top medicine bottle. Not too much of a drippy lip. This thing is actually in really good um, whoever made this was definitely a master craftsman. Um, does have some staining on the inside, but that could tumble out. We're going to do a $20 start on the Applied Top J.R. Nicholson. 1870s on this one. Beautiful, big, tall med. I've sold a few of these before that were a little bit cleaner for uh, a nice... A nice... For, for what they went for absolutely so i feel that 20 is um definitely a good deal on this one no damage just like i said some staining <laughs> see there are still good people in this world you are too kind jj i will have that sent to michelle on you mm-hmm $20 start on the J.R. Nicholson. I always like the big embossing on the front panel here. Just no mistaking it. J.R. Nicholson and Company. Nichols. Why do I keep saying Nicholson? J.R. Nichols and Company. Out of Boston. Beautiful applied top. $20 is probably going to take this one here. Bottle folks are good folks. That's the truth. All right, twenty dollars in five, four, three, two, one, zero. No one interested on the nickels. That's okay. That will get tumbled up. We'll be back for some mo. I do f definitely enjoy the bottle people community. You guys are the best. I love digging bottles. I love looking at them. I never get tired of looking at them, collecting them more and more. All right, check this one, next one out. We have a beautiful machine-made cobalt spool ink. Really beautiful piece here. Got a nice bubble up there. No damage. Early machine made. 22 on it. Nice dark cobalt. We'll do a $15 start on this one. $15 on the... Probably about 1910. Yeah, very clean. It does look like it has a crack right here, but it's not. You can't even feel it or anything like that. It's only like when you really look at it. See, it looks like it's a crack there, but it's, I promise you, it's not. So if you get it and you see that, I promise you. It's not a crack. <laughs> $15 start on the beautiful dark cobalt. How to tumble bottles video. No, I do not, Madison, but I'm pretty sure Trav on Crick Diggers does have one. Maybe I will do one. Um, I'm by no means, you know, an expert on them yet. It took me a while to really get into bottle tumbling, but um, if you do invest in the uh, just the little rock tumbler, it is, it is definitely worth it so you can at least tumble the insides of some bottles. Um, yeah. Maybe I will 
do a little write up or a little tutorial video. All right, $15 is probably gonna take this one. Beautiful, beautiful cobalt, spool ink, no damage in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, Steve, you got you got that one, buddy. Eight dollars for the Father Johns. No one on the Cobalt Ink. That is okay. No, and Trav's not here. He might pop in later. I don't know if he's busy right now. You guys can uh, shoot him a message if you'd like. Always enjoy having Trav on here tonight. You can help help me out whenever i'm mussing up <laughs> all right we're gonna do a 25 dollar start for the beautiful sample machine made paul jones whiskey out of louisville kentucky and then we have this is the only one that i've ever dug this is a this is actually probably the only embossed flask that i've ever dug this is a Paul Jones um, whiskey flask, but it's just the typical 1910 mold. But yeah, I dug this out, the, out of the dump where I, I find the miniatures, and I was like, oh, no way, that's really cool. <laughs> but yeah, let's do, a, let's do a $20 start on the pair. Paul Jones whiskey out of Louisville, Kentucky nice little amber pair here does have a scratch there but um other than that i'm pretty sure it looks pretty good has some staining but some really cool iridescence in it as well this one is pretty much crystal clear for being a dug bottle early machine made i'd say these this one is a tool top um whiskey flask but this one uh, is early machine made. I'd still put them right right around the same age. This one might be a little bit earlier. Um, but yeah, Paul Jones Whiskey out of Louisville, Kentucky. Only one that I've dug like this, like I said. $20 start for the pair. In five, four, three, two, one zero no one on the paul jones pair that's okay like i said if you do change your mind on an on on a lot that did not run or i'm sorry that did not sell uh just shoot me an email after oh my goodness my voice is definitely getting raspy not too many more lots tonight. Um, next up, let's do let's do some salt sellers. This one's pretty fancy. Let's do a fifteen dollar start on the amber salt seller. This one's pretty big, actually. Um, I'd say it's probably a right around 1930s on this one almost looks like the chanel symbols here send the last bought the to the paul jones ones don swamp's in at 15 thank you swamp we need 16 or more okay oh thank you don i definitely will Um, Don wants to send Tattoo Steve the Paul Jones whiskey combo for 20. You bottle. I know. Santa's coming late this year. <laughs> we got Swamp at 15. Thank you, Swamp. We need 16 or more on the beautiful amber salt cellar. Like I said, this one's probably right around 1930. But it's got a nice light amber color to it. You'll pay half of it, JJ. 
I know. And <laughs> just make sure you write it down, buddy. So JJ is going to pay half of that 10. <laughs> <laughs> five seconds left on the clock we need sixteen dollars or more on the amber salt salt cellar all right we're on lag time in five four three two one zero Teresa, what's going on Swamp, you got that for 15, brother. Nice pickup, man. Yeah, I know. Tattoo last tons of this collection. I saw the pictures. I feel so bad, dude. I feel so, so bad. I'm probably going to send him. I'll send him something really nice in that, um, in that as well. I, I feel horrible for him. Yeah, Tattoo... Unfortunately, lost a ton of his collection in the recent earthquakes. Yeah, that really sucks. All right, next up, let's do the Dr. D. Jane's Tonic Vermifuge, 242 Chestnut Street, Philadelphia. The Strength Giver. Hey, Teresa, how you doing, girly? Glad to have you here tonight. I was wondering if you were going to pop on. We have this sweet Dr. D. Jane's Vermifuge. Nice little early quack patent medicine. I'm going to toss a marble on here too. Pretty sure this is some sort of acro. I don't think it's a flame. I'm not sure. You might have to help me out, guys. I'm not sure what kind of marble that is, but we're going to do a $15 start. That is great to hear, Teresa. I hope you're getting some awesome treasure hunting in. Or not a treat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great to hear, Teresa. $15 start for the Philly Dr. James with a beautiful green and white marble on there. I'm going to turn the turntable off for right now. This is the Strength Giver. I like this recessed panel here. The Strength Giver. I mean, I need some Dr. Janes right now. So I, I'm not feeling tip top. <laughs> Most of these were just alcohol anyway, so maybe I should just drink. I don't think that's a good idea, though. <laughs> All right, $15 for the pair here. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. No one interested in the marble strength giver combo. That's all right. If you change your mind, please let me know. What's that? All right, next up, these are some sweet Fenton glass salt cellars. They come in all different colors, but yeah, these are really cool. I'm going to do a $15 start for this beautiful lime green one. Um, I did shine a um, UV light on it, and it did not glow to my surprise. I was really surprised it didn't. But it is still a beautiful piece of glass here. It's Fenton glass. Um, I'm not 100% sure where Fenton's out of. For some reason, I want to say Illinois, but I'm not totally sure. Could be out of PA. Is Fenton out of PA? No. $15 to JJ. Thank you, JJ. We need 16 or more. Love these spiky little things. Like I said, they come in all different colors. And they're pretty collectible. Founded in Ohio. That makes sense. Hey, 
headquarters are in West Virginia now. No damage on this one. None of the spikes are missing. Pretty cool piece of history. Beautiful piece of glass here, guys. 16 or more on the green, apple green, Fenton Salt Cellar. All right, we're sitting at about 10 seconds of lag. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. JJ, you got that for 15, brother. Nice pickup, man. Sweet. Sweet is right. I'm just going to run all four of these bad boys. Yep. This one is another Fenton piece, another Fenton salt cellar. This one's it is like a clear icy blue. It's not aqua. It's a nice, almost corn flower. Sky blue. Well, you might not want to because look at the next one that's going to run too. That's like straight icy blue. Okay. Elsa Blue. Okay. <laughs> Another $15 start on this one, guys. Beautiful, beautiful icy blue. Not missing any of the spikes. Fenton Salt Cellar. Oh, yes. Very pretty. Could you imagine the beautiful rings that would sit in there? As like a little ring dish. How they would just sparkle in there. Really beautiful piece. You can even use it as a display stand this way. So versatile. And you can put your sugar in there or your salt or your pepper. Buy two of them and you can have a salt and pepper. Open salt and pepper. Like the good old days. <laughs> I think we should start doing that, bud. I'm kind of into that. <laughs> a piano insulator no I have not I'm not sure what that is I will have to look that up Michelle all right fifteen dollars is gonna take this one in five four three two one zero no one on the sky blue Fenton piece. Teresa, you'll take that for 15. It is all yours, girly. Beautiful. You just want one, JJ? That's okay, buddy. Nice pickup. Okay, before we do the next icy blue one, we have this sweet amber one. Now, this one does have a little bit of damage there, but... It's still in really great shape. Beautiful Fenton piece here and a honey amber. I'm so confused, Don. <laughs> We're going to do another $15 start on this one. It does have a bit of damage. Ah, I'll knock it down to 12. 10. Who am I kidding? We'll do 10. Yeah, this is a beautiful one. This is almost like a smoky amber. Yeah, like I said, it does have a little bit of damage, but still a really cool, interesting color. Open salt Fenton glass. They made these all the way back from, like, I think, like, the ni early 1900s into the 30s and 40s. Twenty-five seconds left on the clock. We need a ten dollar start on this one, guys. On the smoky amber. You like green. There are some there are some other crazy colored ones that I do have. So next you'll have to keep an eye out for the next time I do these ones. 
$10 start. All right, we're on lag time in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Fenton was founded in 05. Thank you, Teresa. No one on the amber? That's okay. Oops. Hobnail. I'm not sure. All right, next up we have the legit Elsa Blue Fenton. $15 start on this one. This thing is so cool. It is like straight icy, icy blue. That opaque almost milk glass blue. I love this one. My niece would definitely call it an Elsa one. $15 start. <laughs> yeah, squeaks the 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 uh I think that cobalt ink was 15, buddy. Yes, this is hob now, I think. I I'm pretty sure that's what they call this. You guys are probably correct. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm going to have to put I'm going to have to put the Disney there I'm going to pay a Disney f uh fee. Um, Squeaks, you want that for 15 The Cobalt? It's yours, buddy. Nice pickup, man. Squeaks is going to take that Cobalt, um, spoiling. Yep. All right, 10 seconds left on the clock. $15 start on the Hobnail Fenton Elsa. Salt cellar. All right, in five, four, three, two, one, zero. No one on the hobnail, Elsa. That is okay. Maybe I'll keep that one for my niece. Oh yeah, you ain't you ain't lying, Glassy. That would be crazy. All right, that is all the Fenton pieces that I had tonight. Let's go on to another beautiful, beautifully colored olive bottle here. Eclipse French satin gloss dressing. Eclipse dressing French satin gloss. This is pretty sure British uh, shoe polish. Or French, maybe. It says 773 over SA. No damage. We're going to do a... We'll do a $15 start on this one. Eclipse dressing. Really nice piece here. In an olivey green. French satin gloss. Eclipse dressing. Let's get the light show on here. Ooh. How spooky. Ooh, I would love some sweet tea right now. That sounds so good. But uh, do you want to go to McDonald's after this? Oh. I really want some sweet tea. Okay. It's all right. 20 seconds left on the clock on the French shoe gloss. Five seconds left on the clock. We need a $15 start. Eclipse shoe dressing. All right, we're on lag time in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, you are sweet tea. Oh, I didn't know that, Miss Teresa. <laughs> I apologize. 
No one on the Eclipse dressing? That's okay. It's a beautiful color. Yes, I am still sick, Ray. You want that one for 15? It is all yours. Uh, the shoe dressing. Yeah. Okay. Next up, this is a really cool piece here. Does have some staining. I meant to tumble this bottle, but it does have a little bit of damage, unfortunately. You can see here on the very edge of it, there's a hairline crack that goes right there about an inch long. But this is a really cool iron pondled utility bottle. It is full of whittling. Um, unfortunately, does have that staining in there, though. Um, like I said, I really wanted to tumble this, but I was just too afraid with that crack there. Um, but let's still, it is an early, early bottle, 1850s. Let's do a, uh, let's do Bitter's Choice on this one, guys. Bitter's Choice on the 1850s Utility. Like I said, does have that little bit of damage, but it does have a really cool iron pommel on there. Nice early whittled bottle here. Bitter's Choice. You guys start me off. Super whittled. Ah, oh, there you go, Teresa. That is the best. No, Swamp, we don't have Bojangles. <laughs> JJ's in at 10. Yeah, I've had it, I think, maybe one time. We need 11 or more on the Iron Pondled Whittled Bottle. Whittled Chemical Utility Bottle. This thing is sick, guys. Do not sleep on this. Beautiful whittling on this early bottle. And like I said, just that little bit of damage there. Or you can see it there. But, I mean, you display it has nothing wrong with it. 11 or more on the early plied top. Whittled to bits. Somebody's going to get a good deal. Stickman Outdoors. What's up, buddy? We need 11 or more on the Iron Pondled Utility. All right, we're on lag time in five, four, three, two, one, zero. JJ, you got a heck of a deal on that, dude. Nice pickup, man. Even with that staining in there, that is a beautiful, beautiful bottle. Early piece of glass. Ten bucks. Nice pickup, man. Oh, yes, they definitely do. Scott McClory. How you doing, Scott? And Hunter. Digging raid. I'm not sure what that means, guys. What's that mean? Am I being raided? All right, next up, we have a really cool British bottle here. This is Dr. McKenzie's. And if you look at it, the Z in McKenzie's right there on my finger is backwards. So it's an error. Dr. McKenzie's, and it says down here, Cadar Cure smelling bottle so it's a smelling salts would have had a stopper that went in here too let's do a 15 dollar start on this one beautiful little green bottle here almost an emerald green huh are you mad that i'm selling this a little bit <laughs> 15 dollars oh sweet <laughs> Needs a marble. Oh, it needs a bid as well. I'll toss a marble on if you guys toss a bid. $15 start on the air smelling salts. All right, we got a couple 15s in on there. 
pulled the phone. Let's put a big shooter on there. This one, I forget what these are called. It might be like an acro patch or something like that. Yeah, I'll toss a big shooter on there. On the Error McKenzie's Smelling Salts. Like I said, this is a British. Oh, thank you guys so much for coming on. Yeah, Don and Shelly are the best. They are the best. All right, we have $17 for squeaks right now. We're on lag time in five, four, three, two, one, zero. I have Don Williams at 21 on the beautiful green smelling salts in the awesome shooter nice pickup Don that's a really that's a beauty 21 you love Scott McClory I've seen him before on your on your guys's uh, your chats <laughs> you upbid yourselves I love when you guys get into bidding wars <laughs> you two were too much Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's do this one. We got a big old turn mold ladies leg wiki here. We're going to do a $12 start on this one. It's got three dots on the base of it. No mold seam lines or anything like that. Just a little bit of uh, case wear on it there. And then it goes up into a beautiful applied top beautiful beautiful a stretch neck with a little bit of amber there and then it also has the original stopper dug with it um it is a pretty tall bottle 12 dollars is gonna start this one off big tall turn mold whiskey but it's in a beautiful light aqua like i said it's got three dots on the base i think that was uh, used to show how many times it was distilled or for like uh or how many times it was like uh run through or something i forget but something of that nature <laughs> 12 dollars start on the turn mold 1890s beautiful aqua whiskey bottle dig and raid Duane Pickering. How's it going, guys? Thank you guys so much for hopping on. If you're new here, please send your information to drippylipauctions at gmail.com. Check out this sweet turn mold uh, whiskey here. Beautiful lady's leg. We need a $10 start on this one in five four three two one zero no one interested in the big turn mold whiskey with stopper that's okay yeah didn't know how how strong it was oh something masonic i found a couple masonic pieces they're out there Teresa. Heck yeah. All right, next up. This is definitely the heavy hitter of the night. We have a Dr. Langley's Root and Herb Bitters, 76 Union Street, Boston. We're going to do a $50 start with $2 increments. Beautiful, big bop into the neck here. It's a pristine, pristine piece here. Beautiful Dr. Langley's root and herb bitters one minute and 15 seconds on the clock we need a 50 dollars start on this one beautiful beautiful bottle here guys don't skip out on this one 1860s beautiful no damage it's not pondled but it just missed it Ooh, peach brandy sounds good 
<laughs> I bet you that would like clear my nostrils. We need a $50 start. Like I said, guys, this is probably the oldest and best bottle of the night. I think 50 is a great, great start. Hey, hey, what's up, Joe? Joe from Pittsburgh Coin Hunting. He's in a ton of our videos. Kent's in at 50. Thank you, Kent. We need 52 or more. Yeah, this is a pretty good price for this clean, clean Dr. Langley's. Get your bids in, guys. 10 seconds left on the clock. We need 52 or more on the Dr. Langley's Herb and Root Bitters. 76 Union Street, Boston. All right. We're sitting at 5 on lag time. We need 52 or more in... Five, four, three, two, one, zero. JJ, you got that for 52 right ahead of Kent. Ah, oh, Kent, your 54 just came through, buddy. Oh, that is a steal. You guys slept on that one. Dr. Langley's. That is a beautiful bottle and a great pickup for you there. Kent, sorry, buddy. You got sniped on the last second, bud. But don't go anywhere, guys. We have tons more glass and some awesome silver tonight as well. We're going to do a $25 start on this one. This is a beautiful early piece of glass here. Super whittled, has some staining on the outside, but just a really beautiful cobalt, almost cornflowery look to it. Really beautiful piece here, guys. $25 start, applied top. It's almost like a miniature whiskey. Miniature cobalt whiskey, $25 start. This is a really good deal on this. Beautiful whittling on it. Dig and raid. <laughs> We're being raided. There's 58 people. I think that's a new record, guys. Yeah, definitely hit that thumbs up. We're going to do our progressive prize pretty soon. After about three more lots. We're, uh, maybe two more lots. We'll do that one. $25 start on this beautiful... Beautiful 1860s, 1870s, little cobalt whiskey. That's just a little bit of dirt on the inside. Um, it does, does have some standing on the outside, but this is seriously a beautiful early piece of glass. You can see it's super lightweight too. Just awesome, awesome color. $25. All right, sitting and our lag in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Um, FLX, I think, John, I think that this is a whiskey. I'm pretty sure that's what I was told. Um, I had a couple of the other ones. Glassaholics Anon. <laughs> Check this thing out. No one wants it. That is okay. Looks like the inside of your microwave. Interesting. If you do change your rate, change your rate, change your mind on a bottle too, just shoot me an email. And if you are new to the auction, Send your information to drippylipauctions at gmail.com to get registered. Next up, we've got an awesome tri -Lloyd's Cobalt Poison. This is a beautiful machine made with a 2 embossed on the base. No damage. We're going to do a $25 start on the tri -Lloyd's Triangular Poison. Check this out. Love me some triloids. These are so fun to dig. 
$25 is a steal. We have the dimpled edges so that anyone that was illiterate or that they could not see at night could feel that these little bumps on there and know that I do not need to take this one. The display box looks like, oh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> 45 seconds left on the clock. Ray is in at 25. Thank you, Ray. We need 26 or cool or more. I don't know. I'm reading the comments and then I say them. <laughs> it does look cool. Thank you. Oh my goodness. 25 seconds left on the clock. We need 26 or more. Madison Maines at 26. We need 27 or more. Try Lloyd's three-sided triangular poison oh these are so cool i don't care if you're into bottles or not these poison bottles are so sweet five seconds left on the clock thank you jj we need 27 or more all right we're sitting our 10 second lag in five four three two one zero i have madison maine at 26 nice pickup madison try lloyd's poison that's a great deal nice pickup madison richie Okay. Ooh, this is also another nice one. We're going to run this one, and then we're going to do the 13. Uh, the year on that poison, that was probably right around 1910, 1915 on the triloids. But they go back earlier. They are they do come tool top into the you know early 1900s. No, Jerry, this is actually um, one of the nicer jars that we're going to run. We're going to run this one, and then we're going to do the progressive. So, without further ado, I have this Mason's Improved Midget with the correct enclosure as well as the band. We're going to do a $40 start. Beautiful, beautiful ground lip on this with the original enclosure and everything. This is... I think a really good deal on this one. Perfect lid band on it. I mean, it looks great. It's got I-305 on the base. Pretty interesting. No damage. Mason's Consolidated Fruit Jar Improved. JJ's in at 40. Thank you, buddy. We need 41 or more. This is a really sweet sweet combo here guys do not sleep on this jar it's got a little bit of an amber streak even up in here too it's a nice jar nice little midget these are great because they are smaller mason jars so you can collect a lot of them if you would like to do a run they don't take up a lot of space and this one is just beautiful um really came out nice Mason CFJ Improved, Consolidated Fruit Jar Company. Mary is at 41. Thank you, Mary. We need 42 or more. 42 or more. Five seconds left on the clock. Heck yeah, man. Just that band and enclosure is worth 40 bucks. <laughs> All right, we're sitting five second lag in five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Mary Kernan, you got that for 41. That is a steal. Steal. Excellent, excellent pickup. Heck yeah. JJ, your 42 just came through, buddy. All right. I'm going to need your help, buddy. 
Yep, because we're going to do the uh, progressive. All right, I'll do it. <sighs> no help these days, guys. No help. All right. <laughs> so, for our Friday the 13th, auction we have a samco super mason 13 mason jar and if you are new to our auctions this is called our progressive prize so whenever i start the bid i'm gonna let increase the clock time to three minutes and whenever i start the bid um however many times you enter in and actually progress the uh the bid price is how you get entered into this uh, auctions giveaway, which I failed to get together. So, give me one second, and I will get a get a, a giveaway together for you guys. Give me one second. Hmm. I have some silver here. All right, sorry about that, guys. So, however many times you enter in and actually progress the prize and progress the amount is how many times you get entered. So, like I said, the more times that you enter in, the more times you get to try and win this beautiful Rumford's Chemical Works. Does have some staining, but it is still a beautiful, beautifully colored 1890s chemical bottle with a sick shooter marble and five silver dimes. So even if you don't bid and win the bottle, you still get a chance to win something sweet. So, without further ado, let's start this Samco number 13 mason jar off at, okay, Scott, if you don't understand it, so I'm gonna start the bid off at $30, okay? And then how, whoever starts it off, and if you enter it in, so say you, someone starts it at 30, and then, it progresses to 31. You get it and enter into the giveaway for the Rumfords, the silver, and the uh, marble. So we have the clock started. We have Shelly in at 30. We have Russell Ackroyd at 31. We need 32. We got JJ at 32. And Mary Kernan at 33. We need 34 or more. Don Williams is at 35. We need 36 or more. We got Don again at 37. We need 38 or more. Shelly's at 38. We need 39. Don's at 39. And Shelly's at 40. JJ's at 41. We need 42 or more. Like I said, however many times you enter in and progress it is how many times you get entered into the giveaway. So we need 42 or more on the Samco Super Mason. This is for the Samco number 13, unlucky number 13, Samco Mason Jar. <laughs> yeah, they go quick, Scott. So if you, but you heard Don and Shelly going back and forth. We have 
Teresa at 42, right ahead of you, Shelly. Um, they've got multiple entries into this Rumford Chemical Works silver and marble combo. Shelly's at 43. Thank you, Shelly. We need 44 or more. Ladies, that's me. <laughs> Shane. Shane Godfrey's in at 44. Thank you, Shane. We need 45. 45 or more. On the Samco Super Mason Unlucky number 13 mason jar. Ooh. See, I almost broke a bottle with it. It's so unlucky. Yeah, this marble is pretty sick. That's what I'm saying. The giveaway for this is, is pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice. <laughs> Samco Perfect Mason. We need 45 or more. On the unlucky number 13, Samco Super Mason. Does have this damage. Oh my goodness, I feel horrible. I did not explain that. 45 goes to Therese. We need 46 or more. 46 or more. Oh, I feel terrible that I didn't describe that. I feel like I... Oh, crap. Are you sure... I feel terrible. I, Becca said that she's going to make me eat the paper if she has to rewrite their names. It is a fabulous jar still. It really is cool. You can't even just see it when it's displayed. Oh, we need 46 or more. This is still a really awesome jar, guys. <laughs> oh, whoever wins it, I'll toss in silver too. Whoever wins it, I'll toss in silver, too. We need 46 or more. 46 or more on the Samco Mason. Yeah, I haven't seen one either, uh, Michelle. All right, it's coming down to five, four, three, two, one, zero. Looks like Teresa won it for 45. Nice pickup, Teresa. <laughs> Sam Crow. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Okay, yeah. So, really quick, let me go back through the chat and see how many times people progressed the amount so that we can see how many entries there are. So, we had Shelly at 30. We had Russell Ackroyd at 31. Then we had JJ's Mayhem at 32. And Mary Kernan at 33. Then we had Don Williams at 35. Mm -hmm. And then Don Williams at 37. Then Shelly at 38. Then Don at 39. Then Shelly at 40. Then JJ's Mayhem at 41. And Teresa at 42. Then we had Shelly at 43, Shane Godfrey at 44, and Teresa at 45 for the winning bid. Yes, that is a super, super sweet mason jar there. I, again, really apologize, guys. I completely forgot that it had this, this damage, um, but I threw in some silver and goodies for you there thank you teresa and thank you guys all very much for the progressive prize as becca gets the names cut out um just wanted to say thank you guys again for coming out and spending your friday with me i do have silver to run and uh six more lots six more lots and then a couple silver lots um and then i'm probably gonna call it a night because i am feeling pretty crummy <laughs> oh heck yeah Teresa! thank you send the marble to dawn i can do that for you sister lady whoa whoa uh-oh who was it there it is over there you sure no it looks like it yeah, it does. No. Is that from a different? Yep. Are you kidding me? Here it is. 
This is amateur hour. <laughs> What happens oh, yeah, the marble happen? is for progressive. You're right, Shelly. I'm so silly. Mm. No, it's okay. I'll just do it all by myself. Yeah, I guess I can do it, too, instead of just holding the bucket for you. I'm sure like I was a really good. Room. I was a really good bucket holder, though. What's this? Oh, JJ. <laughs> I'm like, DR, doctor. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> what up? I mean, I hope you guys win it too. You had tons of entries. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. We got some jumping beads in there. This is the one that jumped out, so we're going to say it's that one. <laughs> okay, let's see who the progressive prize winner is. It is JJ, the one that I said that looked like Doctor. What in the world? That's crazy. JJ's mayhem. You have won the progressive prize giveaway. This beautiful. Beautiful Rumpfus Chemical Works, five silver dimes, and a beautiful shooter marble. Congratulations, and thank you guys all so much for entering into the progressive giveaway. All right, we still have lots of glass and silver tonight. Don't go anywhere. We got more to show. Let me just get a little baggie for this. So that I don't lose it. Um, where are you little baggies? I had so many of you. So how about on Wednesday's auction, I think it was? Wednesday's Travis's auction. Uh, he sang a little bit of a country ditty. And he sounded ridiculously good. It was, like, annoying to figure out how good of a singer he was. <laughs> I was so jealous. <laughs> it was so amazing. He's got this really deep voice, and it came out of nowhere. And I don't think a lot of people really noticed it, but he was really good at singing. He had a beautiful singing voice. There goes the marble. Uh, no, you definitely don't want to hear me uh, sing. Especially with my nasally, sicky voice right now. Alright, let's keep it going, guys. We've got a really beautiful mason jar here. We're going to do a $45 start on this one. This is a beautiful ball script mason jar. Mason's patent, November 30th, 1858. It's got a beautiful plain mason jar which is what these would have take took and then it's got a beautiful ground lip couple little chips but that is normal that is normal 45 dollars start on the ball mason's patent 1858 this thing is beautiful let me get the clock fixed for you there we go start it at 145 Jerry Pearson's in at 45. This is a really good jar, jar, guys. I'm telling you, don't miss out on this one. The homeless man and I dug this one, and he tumbled it up, and it came out fantastic. Ball Masons with the early 1890s script ball. This is a really nice jar, guys. Don't miss out on this. Jerry's at 45. We need 46 or more. 46 or more. I'm telling you guys, do not miss out on this one. I didn't do a ton of research on this, so I could be lowballing it at 45. So you definitely could be getting a nice deal on this one. Meeting the homeless man is should be everyone's white whale. Dale, if you're watching, I love you, buddy. <laughs> I haven't talked to you in a while. 
Free Bridge, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? We need 46 or more on this beautiful Ball Mason patent, 1858. Beautiful script ball on there. The early, early Ball Brothers. It's happening for you in 2023. It will happen, you're right. She's gonna meet the homeless man. Yeah, free bridge. Check out his TikTok. We need 46 or more on the beautiful early ball ground lit Mason's patent in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Jerry Pearson, you got that for 45, brother. I think that is a very good deal on that. It is a perfect, perfect example. No damage to it. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, Michelle. I figured it was... I wasn't sure if I was on the low end or the high end. But it seemed pretty fair for me. All right. Let's see if we can get this bad boy kicking. We've got... A, Another Mass Bitters bottle, S.O. Richardson's Bitters, South Reading, with a key mold almost. Doesn't have the uh, the loop here, but it's like a, a hinge mold. I think this is called a hinge mold. It does have a little bit of damage up on the lip here and some staining on the inside, but still a nice early whittled uh Bitters bottle. We'll do a $30 start on this one. $30 for the South Reading Bitters bottle. These do come pawned. Um, they're very early. This one's probably 1860s. Just missed open pawn. Compared to what they're asking for, dealer, no deal page. That's a steal. Yeah, that's what I figured, uh, Michelle. Some of those are just nuts. <laughs> Green Mountain Renovator. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for it, Ken. And what is it? Like a set? Is it like a, a med or? Oh, she found the marble. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it for you, JJ. The cat's being uh, entertained. It's okay. $30 start on the South Reading S.O. Richardson bottle. Shannon Bortnor. How you doing? Uh, this is $30 start on this one, Steve. It's got a nice bubble up on the neck, but it does have that little lip chip. If you display it on this side, it can't even see it. Madison's at 30. In 5, 4, 3, 2, one zero madison you got that for 30 bucks that's a great pickup this is the south reading bitters so richardson's matt mcbottles what's up buddy teresa i don't know if that 45 was for that bid but you were out by like three seconds okay four more lots guys and then we're gonna do some coins and that will be the night so definitely get your bids in okay we have an awesome awesome toothpick holder here and a nice smoky puce color yeah that thing is awesome we're gonna do a 25 dollar start puce is one of the hardest and rarest colors to make in glass really cool it's almost got that like gasoline look color to it but it is a nice little like reddish puce this is pressed glass really early early stuff here beautiful piece no damage 25 dollars start 25 dollars start all right kitty That'll be enough of that. See if it glows. Uh, not, not really. Not really, but it does a little bit. You can kind of see some green in there. 
Jamie, what's up, dude? You've been working all day, but you're here just in time for the coins, my man. We only got three more lots after this one, then we're getting into some coins, buddy. $25 start on this one. Teresa's in at $25. Thank you. We need $26 or more on this awesome puce. Early, early. No, this isn't the one that changes with sunlight. Um, those are actually clear bottles that change amethyst. This is intentionally puce already. Oh, she bid 25 before Teresa? Oh, I see it there. Okay, we need 26 or more then. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shelly, you got that for 26. <laughs> I was so confused. I'm sorry, guys. I'll give you that for 25. Just give it to them for 25. It's the toothpick holder. Puce toothpick holder. Yeah, those are clear, gla clear glass that was uh, blown before uh, right around 1910-ish or 1915. Um, pews, 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 pews. <laughs> um, it, uh, yeah, it had manganese in it, which reacts with the um, sunlight and the UV rays turn it a nice amethyst and the longer you leave it out in the dark or in the dark in the sun the longer it will or the darker it'll turn all right we have another beautiful four paneled open paneled vial oh it's so vile we're gonna do a twenty dollar start on this one it's got a sweet rolled lip no damage absolutely pristine condition you can see the open panel on there this is a really unique bottle no damage no staining you'll be in vilsec next month dude oh i'm gonna miss you but i can't wait to see what you find out there yeah this is definitely a unique open panel bottle and you can see how whittled that is it's absolutely gorgeous we need 21 or more on the rectangular open panel vial rolled lip 1830s 1840s on this one yes i see shelly's bid yes for 20 we need 21 or more 21 or more on the rectangular did i see which one for 26 for the last one yeah i saw it you outbid Dawn at 20. It's okay. I saw Dawn's at 20, at uh, 25 up before that. So, yeah, you're good. You got it for 25. Raisin at 21. We need 22 or more. Beautiful 1840s, 1850s tri er, triangular. Rectangular open panel vial. Beautiful. I love that rolled lip, and I love how whittled it is. Looks like an ice cube. Yeah, a lot of the puffs are round. All right, we are on lag time. We need 22 or more. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shelly, you got that for 23. Nice pickup. That has a sweet open panel piece. I mean, just mint condition. Might be a dumb question, but has anyone you know found an old bottle of opium that says liquid, yeah, 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 and it still had contents? Um, yeah, I've sold bottles that still have original contents, um, but usually they're just filled with, like, groundwater or something. But, yeah, I definitely have found bottles that have original contents, and people do find really old ones that have... Um, you know the stuff in there from the uh like in like an if it was found in an attic or a barn or something like that all right next up check out the champion salt cellar this thing will probably turn amethyst if you do leave it out in the sun we've got a 
beautiful, beautiful shooter marble to go with this one, too. We're going to do a $25 start on the Champion Salt Cellar. This thing is sick. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely would make you sick. <laughs> $25 start for the Champion Cup Salt Cellar. Early 1900s with a sick shooter marble. This thing is beautiful. I forget. I think this is some sort of acro. I don't know. I'm pretty. I, I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> Don's in at 25. Thank you, Don. We need 26 or more. 26 or more on the beautiful salt cellar. I love this thing, man. Shelly is not bidding. <laughs> Yeah, it does kind of look like the Pepsi logo. I know, isn't that just the coolest? I love it. 30 seconds left on the clock. I want to take like a little sip out of it. <laughs> 30 seconds left on the clock. 20 seconds now. We need 26 or more. A genie lamp. Stop kicking that camera, you dummy. 10 seconds left on the clock. We need 26 or more. The Aladdin Salt Cellar. I love it. <laughs> All right. We are on lag time. We need 26 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Don, you got that for 25. Nice pickup, Don. Get that right there. What's that? No, it's still behind the desk. I can't reach it yet. I will get it though, don't worry. Alright, this is the last salt cellar and marble combo for the night. We're gonna do a $20 start on this. We have a beautiful clear salt cellar here that will definitely turn SCA. Um, in the sunlight and then check out this shooter marble. It's a cat's eye But it's got multiple veins in it and it's even got an amber streak in it. I love that. That's so cool $25 for the combo R Really cool You will still be here in spirit or yeah, I said 20 not 25 I'm so confused. What did I say? Go with 25, okay. Uh, 20, okay, we'll go 20. We need 21 or more. I think this, just this marble is probably 20 bucks, so. How many colors in the cat's eye? It has white, light blue, another light blue, and then a dark blue. So, four colors, or three colors, one, two, three, four, five, six veins. And then it's got that amber streak. Where's the kitty? She's here. She's actually being really good tonight. I know. 20 seconds left on the clock. We need 21 or more. Check out this beautiful salt cellar too. That's why I just wanted to... I knew this was probably a, at least a $15 or $20 marble by itself. But the combo is really where it's at. We need 22 or, or 21 or more. 21 or more. 21 or more. All right, we're on lag time in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Don Williams with the snipe at 24. Nice pickup, Don. Michelle, your 25 just came through. Nice pickup. That's a really good marble. Beautiful pickup. Okay. Ooh, careful. That is all of our glass for the night. But we still have some awesome silver and relics to auction tonight. So don't go anywhere. I'll miss you. Okay. Let's switch around here. Get
get the camera ready. Yes, very pretty marble. Very pretty marble. Oh, that just won't do. I wish I could get it angled so it would sit just like... I guess that's pretty good. Okay, let me get my coins all together. In those righteous orders. One second. Thank you guys all so much for spending your Friday night with me. I'm having a blast as always, and I hope you are too. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. I have pretty much every social media. Um, be sure to check out the channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome bottle digging videos coming up. Um, got a lot of good stuff planned for this month. So, yeah, 2023 is going to be awesome. So, all right, Squeaks, have a good night. Thank you so much, buddy. Enjoy your weekend. Hope you get out hunting. All right, for our, <laughs> for our first silver lot, we're going to do a $15 start. We have five silver dimes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Five silver Roosevelt dimes. We got a 64, 63, a 46, a 63, and another 63. So five silver dimes. Let's see if they have any mint marks. Looks like we've got a Denver, a Denver, and a Denver. So three Denver mint marks. Five silver dimes. $15 start. Dude, I will I will definitely take you up on that, brother. $15 start for the five silver dime combo. We got some early coppers tonight, some earlier silver. Really cool Mexican silver coin 63 is your birth year that's awesome teresa it's my dad's birth year 46 we have a 1963 another 63 another 63 and a 64. 10 seconds left on the clock we need a 15 dollars start on the five silver dimes Finally aged like wine. That's right. All right. 15 will probably take it in five, four, three, two, one, zero. No one interested in the five dime lot? That's okay. I do not mind keeping silver. <laughs> you guys you guys all right next up we got a cool little combo here We're going to do a $10 start on this one. We've got two silver dimes here, a 1960 Roosevelt with a Denver mint mark and a 1946 Rosie. And then we've got three Buffalo nickels in nice shape. We've got a 1920, 1927, and then this one, it's pretty smooth. I'm not going to lie. I can't see a date on there. Let's get the date clock started here we go coppas they're they're coming buddy don't worry um we have a denver mint mark on this one and no mints on these two but yeah five little um coins here from the 1920s and 1940s ten dollar start actually let's knock it down to eight <laughs> Uh, yeah, think again there. 
<laughs> I'm not putting my one dollar gold piece up. You'll never you, you'll you might see it for show and tell, and that's it. <laughs> Gail's in at eight. Thank you, Gail. We need nine or more. Two silver dimes and three buffalo nickels. Yeah, man. Give them a little something sweet from the USA. My dad and I made some wine that is exceptionally good. Three buffalo nickels and two silver dimes. We need $9 or more. Nine dollars or more. I love me some grape juice, dude. Don't get me started on the Welch's. Because I'll drink the whole carton. I like that more than wine. <laughs> All right. We need nine dollars or more. Sitting at about five seconds lag in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Gail, we got that for eight bucks, my friend. Nice pickup. You made dandelion wine. I've had dandelion wine before. It's good. Freezing cold welches. Yes, dude. This is what you do. You shake it up until it's super, super foamy, and then you pour it on crushed ice, and your life will change. Dang it, dude. What happened to all those little baggies I had? Where I had them all in the floor up here. I, th I think you threw them away. I, well, I don't know. Why would you do that? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'll just keep them in tape rolls. <laughs> Ah, oh, that sounds so good, Don. Summertime grape juice? Yes, please. All right. Next up, got an interesting little combo here. We're gonna do the trifecta. We're gonna do a $10 start. And these are some nice examples here. We've got a 1908 Barber Dime. No mint mark, but just beautiful old style dime there. Then we've got the classic 1944 Silver Mercury Dime. And it has a mint mark. Or it almost looks like a mint mark, but it's not. And then check out this like mint condition 1963. No mint on there either. So these are three Philadelphia silver coins. The trifecta. Check it out. $10 start. Trifecta of silver dimes. Three different United States silver dimes here. We need $10 start. Like I said, that 63 is in like mint condition. It's still got the mint sheen. We got the beautiful 1908 Barber and then the always classic Mercury Dime. Your White Whale Barber, buddy. Yeah, Teresa, I knew you'd be all about that 63. <laughs> you just eat grapes? I could go for some grapes right now, man. It sounds good, good, so good. That sounds awesome, Jamie. I really want to see that bottle. JJ's in at 10. We need 11 or more on the trifecta of silver. All right. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. JJ, you got that for 10. J Jamie, your 11 just came through. Yes, finding history between the lakes. 
Lakes. Come on, guys. <laughs> A nice pickup, JJ. Oh, you guys. Um, just forewarning everyone, I'm going to wait a couple more days to get stuff packed up and shipped out. I really don't want to get anyone sick. I know there's like different, um, different, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, different ways to that people are you know dealing with covid and stuff i kind of still into the whole 10 day thing i don't want anyone to get sick so definitely uh be on the lookout for your invoices but they will probably be in a few days just because i don't want to get anyone sick i really don't what's that yeah we're gonna spray everything down like I got sick, and then Becca got sick, got sick again. So I really just don't want anyone to pass it to anyone. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got a five-coin combo again. Got two beautiful buffalo head nickels and two Indian head pennies. And check out this one. Look at the – it's like – I think they call those like cud. This is actually like an error. And it's on an 1873. This is a really, uh, it's actually a key date Indian head penny. This is a really nice early penny. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's a good a good Indian head penny there, even in the condition that it's in. Uh, like I said, we have an 1892. This seems to be a 28 buffalo, and this one. Let me get a quick look. Mm, yep. Don't see a date on that, but yeah, no mint marks on those guys either. And then we have a 1912 Doug V nickel, but it's in really good condition. So lots of details. We're going to do a $25 start just because that 73 Indian, I'm telling you, that's a, a, a key date Indian and that extra stuff on there that that's like an error coin from way back all her face is all jacked up but if i could get it to actually focus on her oh me too me too they how cool would they look i i like the uh buffalo the in i've bought a couple of the uh buffalo silver rounds <laughs> between the wineries $25 start for the five coin combo no silver but i'm telling you that 1873 is a good dated indian it's a really cool error coin two beautiful buffaloes a v nickel and then another 1892 indian as well jamie's in at 25 thank you brother we need 26 or more yeah, that 73 is pretty dope. I've found a few of them, but I'm pretty sure, like, I didn't really, really look into the errors of those, but I'm telling you, that there's something special about that Indian. 15 seconds left on the clock. We need 26 or more. Yeah, double died. Yeah, that's right, Matt. Thank you. So you have to look with a loop on it, Jamie, if you get it, which it's looking that way. <laughs> 26 or more in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Jamie, you got that for 25, buddy. Yeah, definitely look at that through a loop, man. That could be the, the, uh, the eight over three, but all that extra stuff on her face, I think that was made in, uh, in production that happened in production so that's a good pickup jamie that's really cool man all right we got one two three four five more lots guys five more lots and then we are calling it quits thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight 
I'm having a blast. I hope you are too. Please keep an eye out. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I've dug some of these um, in seeded uh, hunts, but none of them are actually dug coins. I keep all of my dug actual like natural finds. Um, heck yeah, man. Yeah, mo uh, you're right, Matt. All the 1870s Indians are tough years to get. Oh, no, no. Don't sell your stuff. No, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. We have a beautiful sterling ring with some bling. We're going to do a... Tw tw $15 start on this one. There's the 925 mark on there. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful blinged up sterling ring. If I can get this started. There we go. $15 start on the beautiful sterling silver ring. I mean, you can fool anybody with that. I do find some. I've been very lucky to find some really amazing stuff. Thank you, Teresa. Yeah, that stuff I do not sell. But the stuff that I, the silver and coins that I find in some of the seeded hunts, I don't mind parting with them. I've got tons of it, so I, I, I like to share my wealth <laughs> and get you guys on some good deals as well. $15 start on this bling ring. Sterling silver. I don't have a weight <laughs> for it. I am not selling my gold coin. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this is a this is quite a beauty it's definitely a nice little chunk of silver fifteen dollar start on it <laughs> it's even got all the stones in there too probably cubic zirconian you go into the store I bet you they'd have this for like thirty five Forty fifty dollars. Hey, that's right, Jamie. <laughs> Ten seconds left on the clock. We need a fifteen dollar start on this beautiful nine two five sterling ring. All right, we are on lag time in five. Four, three, two, one, zero. No one interested in the bling? That's all right. I'm going to give that one to my mama. Everything's for sale. <laughs> oh, dude, I haven't traded in any of my clad either. I still have it all. I'm saving up. for. I'm going to buy that mana core with it. All right, this is going to be our third to last coin run or run in general of the night. We're going to do an $8 start on this one, guys. We got a beautiful 1964 Roosevelt dime in stunning, stunning iridescent toning on there. And then we've got a... 40, focus. Okay, I'm going to use my eyes. 1923, it looks like. No mint mark, and then a 1920. We'll do an $8 start on these three silver dimes. Beautiful toning on that, Rosie. I love it. I don't know why my camera's having trouble focusing tonight. Apologize. You just picked up the 900. Oh, man. I do want to swing it. I want to see how the the collapsible uh, shaft and stuff is. You'll have to let me know how you like it, man. Gail's in at 8. Thank you, Gail. We need 9 or more on the 3 silver dimes, 2 mercury dimes, and a beautiful Roosevelt with just crazy toning. Yeah, Kenny, I can't remember. Is it 
I mean, like, what do you, you were swinging an 800 before, I think, right? I don't see any mint marks on these three. We need nine or more. Oh, that's sick. 600, 800, same, same. All right, we need $9 or more on these three silvers in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, you got that, Gail, for $8, bud. Matt, I did not get that um, Wild Cherry Bitters, actually. The guy that discovered the pit when we were at Come Out Swinging, he got all, you know, he got first dibs on whatever was in the pit because he found it. And then um, he let the guy that I was digging with, um, Dave, he let us, you know, kind of pick some bottles since we dug it out for him. And um, I got the Beans Cure for diarrhea. And Dave actually paid the guy $400 for that uh, cherry bitters bottle. So I don't have it. I was recently talking to Dave and I told him, listen, man, if you ever get tired of looking at that thing, let me know because I'm going to buy it off of you. <laughs> I've been on the lookout for one, so if anyone does see one, a cherry wild cherry bitters from from Reading, PA, let me know. Definitely on the hunt for one. <laughs> yeah, that thing is just stupid, stupid. All right, we have an Estados Unidos Mexicanos, ten pesos from 1962. Pretty sure these are, I think, like 80 percent silver. I'm going to do a $15 start on this one. Check out this sweet coin, though. I love it. It's got just so much character to it. Just all the details. Excuse me. Libertad Independencia. Independence and Liberty. 1962. Two. I know, Karen. Sorry. <laughs> Minute 10 on the clock. We need a $15 start on this one. Yeah, I'm telling you, it is going to be different. I, I forgot about that, that they changed the VDI to 100. It's going to be a lot different. No, I am not a Spanish teacher. <laughs> Oh, this is your do year 62, huh? Forty seconds left on the clock. Fifteen dollar start. Big old hunk of silver here, guys. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's like eighty percent silver, if I'm not mistaken. Twenty five seconds left on the clock. Big old piece of Mexican silver. It's about the size of a silver dollar. Maybe a little bit smaller. You're digging it's in at 15. We need 16 or more. We're sitting at five seconds lag in five, four, three, two one zero i got jamie for 16 right ahead of you gail nice pickup jamie that's a great piece of silver man i love that okay we got two more lots guys and this is gonna be it we got some beautiful early u.s coinage here guys we're going to do a $20 start on this one. 18, 19, matron head large scent. The back is pretty dang smooth, but the front's got full liberty. 18, 19, some cool little percussion marks in there too. I love any way, you know, some of these uh, older coins are altered. Just, you know, what they had to go through to get to my hands. It's just nuts. 
Heck yeah, man. This thing's beautiful. 1819 Matron Head Large Scent. $20 start on this one. These earlier coppers this are getting harder and harder to find for the right price. We'll do 15 because it does have some counter stamps in it. $15 start on this one. And then just wait till you see this next copper though. You're gonna have to You're gonna have to sit down for this next one. <laughs> if you're not already. Jamie's in at 16. Thank you, buddy. We need 17 or more. 17 or more on the matron headed large scent. That's right. Age begets wisdom. At least that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> 10 seconds left on the clock. We need 17 or more on the 1819 matron head large scent. I don't know either, man. All right. Is someone born 1819? <laughs> Is this anyone's birth year? All right. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Jamie, you got that for 16, brother. That's a great pickup for that coin, man. Such an early piece of U.S. coinage. All right, guys. Yeah, I, uh, math isn't my best either. <laughs> All right, check this out. This is the last run of the night, guys. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. We have a beautiful braided hair large scent. 1852 full liberty fantastic condition guys this is one of the best coppers you're gonna see on this channel ah oh, fantastic with the curly q2 look at that thing i'm gonna zoom in on it oh it's so cool i love it look at that curly q this thing is cherry i know i wish they came all came out of the ground this nice all right i'm gonna start the clock we're going to do a $40 start on this one, guys. This is a really nice coin. Really nice coin. You're, you go online, you won't find them for that cheap. Heck yeah, JJ, please do. $40 start on the 1852 braided hair large scent. This thing is in fantastic condition. It's just a smoker, man absolute smoker of a coin $45 start or I'm sorry $40 start I need to stop talking I'm glad this is the last lot <laughs> I'm pretty whooped one minute left on the clock $40 start on the beautiful braided hair large scent just ridiculous condition on this it is cherry. This this was never buried, Ken. This was this was definitely in like a collection. I didn't touch this coin. I didn't do anything to it. Thirty seconds left on the clock. Forty dollars to get it started. Yeah, this thing was never in the ground. <laughs> I wish they came out of the ground looking like this, man. Wouldn't that be nice? Every once in a while, though. $40 start on this one. All right. We are on lag time. This is the last lot of the night. $40 will probably take it in five, four, three, two, one zero gail you got that for 40 bucks my friend that is a fantastic coin dude really nice coin man congratulations and great pickup all right everyone come say hi to you have the kitty 
She bit you. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Like I said, we're still trying to heal up, so um, give us a, a couple days to kind of sanitize and make sure that these bottles are sickness-free. Um, big shout-out to Tattoo Steve, too. Um, if you guys are feeling in the lucky mood, definitely shoot him a, uh, a message or something. Check out his art. He is an amazing artist. Buy some of his art. He just lost tons of bottles in a tragic earthquake. So, But thank you guys so much. Thank you to um, Don and Shelly <laughs> for bringing so many people doing the, uh, the digging raid. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Have a good rest of your night. And let's get some uh, copper poppers out. Oh, oh, ended.